Tonight at 5, a domestic violence victim's call to 911 is making its way across the Internet. You've probably seen it on social media. A call for help pretending to call for a pizza. The victim's quick thinking and creativity could serve as an example that saves lives. RTV6 reporter Katie Hines joins us live in the newsroom to explain. Katie? Yeah, Erica, the former dispatcher thought it was a prank at first. He picked up the call or picked up the phone and it was a call to 911, but it was someone who was ordering a pizza and he quickly discovered that that phony order was a means of conveying a serious emergency. The former dispatcher posted the details of the 911 call online. After giving her address, the caller said, I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. Ma'am, you've reached 911. Yeah, I know. Can I have a large with half pepperoni, half mushroom, and peppers? Um, I'm sorry, you know you've called 911, right? Yeah, do you know how long it will be? And that was the moment of realization for the dispatcher, who quickly confirmed with yes and no questions there was an emergency. Police arrived to find the woman beaten up, her boyfriend drunk. Where are you? The call is similar to several Karen Neville has answered. She and dispatchers in Hendricks County receive a quarter of a million calls every year. We definitely listen for the cues of if they're acting weird, if they sound weird, if they sound distressed. Sometimes they sound like they've been crying, any of those things. Those are all cues to say, hey, this isn't right. There's something wrong here. Neville recommends that if you're in trouble and you can't talk, dial 911 and leave the phone on. Keeping the phone line open, because especially now that no one has home phones anymore, everyone has cell phones, um, in order for us to find them, we need to be able to trace that call. And if they can keep the phone line on, we can you know, try to get as close as possible to them. The president of the Julian Center, a resource for victims of domestic violence, recommends establishing an emergency word or phrase you can use with family members or friends. It's another way to call for help if calling 911 isn't possible. That is something that might come up in conversation, but the, um, the, the support person outside of the relationship knows when the person hears that word or that phrase, that means there's a problem, and that person then can call 911. It's advice that could prevent tragedy in a situation when seconds count. Okay, you're welcome. Bye bye. And another resource for anyone who finds themselves in an emergency is texting to 911. It's something that's going to go statewide next year. And right now is available in about three quarters of Indiana's counties, although not in Hendricks and not in Marion yet. Reporting live in the newsroom, Katie Hines, RTV6. Continuing our coverage, we learned today that during Domestic Violence Awareness Month, which is October, the Marion County Sheriff's Department conducted domestic violence warrant sweeps that led to the arrest of 119 people. Many had multiple warrants for other charges, including rape, robbery, and stalking.